Now friends, basically the question is, what is the amount that would be recovered from the customer on the transaction? That is a question. Now to calculate the same, there are more than one method. I am explaining to you by the simple method that say we can always understand. So in that, bulky note number one, calculation of swap gain or loss to customer. I request all of you to make this calculation, then I will do working for you. Let us have understanding that say how to make the calculation of the swap gain or swap loss. Dear students, swap gain or loss will be calculated something like this. One will be the swap gain or loss due to cancellation of the transaction. We understand that say the transaction is cancelled for 20th of March. This transaction has been cancelled which was initially entered upon by the customer. Why? Because say in the spot only this transaction is entered upon. So the rate at which you are going to buy the dollar is 46.67. So you make payment. It is 46.67 to buy a dollar. And the same dollar is sold at the rate of 46.355. So receive 46.355. So difference of that is a kind of the profit or loss due to cancellation. So 46.67 outflow, 46.355 is inflow. So it is. 0.3150 is the loss. Nineteenth of February, that is the date on which you purchase the dollar at the spot exchange rate, varying forty six point fifty eight. So this is the rate at which you purchase the dollar. Fortunately, it is cheaper than forty six point sixty seven. So the amount saved is 46.67 and the amount paid is 46.58 because that is the rate at which you are required to pay that is a purchase of dollar. So ultimately there is a profit. Why? Because you are able to purchase the dollar at a lower rate. So 46.67 minus 46.58. So you are able to save 9 paise. This is the way you can make the computation of the answer. Dear students, this is the swap gain or loss without taking into account the interest. So we understand that's the swap gain or loss without taking into account the interest. So 0 0.09 minus 0 0.315 that comes to 0 0.2250. What is the amount? Amount is 7000. So swap gain or loss in total it is 0 0.2250 into 7000. That comes to rupees 1575. Okay. Now friends, we understand that so there is a gain of 9 paise. Over here, information is clearly provided that so you will get the interest income. So we understand that so the interest income 0 0.09 into 7000. What is the rate of interest 12 percentage? And what is the time period? It is one month. They have clearly specified that so you don't have to compute the number of days. 0 0.09 into 7000 that comes to 630 into 12% divided by 12 
that comes to six rupee thirty paise. So this is the way net swap loss. It is one five six eight point seven. This is what we understand. Please write an answer. This is the way the answer is calculated. Now, dear students, this answer of one five seven five that we can compute by an alternative method also. Very in friends, we understand that say you just have to compare the new rates. Yes, new rates. See, seller rupees. The term seller rupees stands for you make the payment. So, what is the rate at which you are making the payment? Understand it carefully. You make the payment at forty six point fifty eight, and you purchase rupees forty six point three double five. So. Profit or loss, forty six point three double five is what you receive, and forty six point fifty eight is the rate at which so you purchase the dollar. Okay. So difference of both of them is a kind of profit or loss that you have multiplied with seven thousand. Forty six point three double five minus forty six point five eight, that comes to negative point double two five zero into seven thousand. So that comes to rupees one five seven five. So directly you can make this calculation without taking into account. So the interest. So this calculation is extremely simple. For the purpose of making calculation of the interest, you need to prepare an additional working. Then what is the profit or loss on nineteenth of February? On nineteenth of February you have a profit. So on that amount of the profit, you have to compute the interest separately. That is also the way by which you can have the presentation of the answer. Whatever method is more convenient to you, that you can apply for calculation of answer. Now, the final answer. Calculation of. Amount to be recovered from customer the students again this can be calculated by more than one method method number 1 is like this listen carefully amount payable based on Spot exchange rate of nineteenth of February. That is the date on which, say, actually you purchased the dollar. So on this date, as per the spot rate, you have to pay forty six point fifty eight. So the amount that say to be recovered is forty six point fifty eight into seven thousand. That comes to three lakh twenty six thousand sixteen. Plus, you can see that say on thirty. I'm sorry, twentieth of March. There is a loss of thirty one point five paise. So we will have plus loss on twentieth of March. What is the amount of the loss? It is point three one five zero multiplied with seven thousand. That comes to double two zero five. Okay, that is the loss which you are required to pay on twentieth of March. However, there will be an interest income of six rupee thirty paise, so less interest income. To customer, that is six rupee thirty paise. 
This is the way we can compute the amount to be recovered from the customer. 3,26,060 plus 2205 minus 6 rupees 30 paise. So 3,28,258.7. This is the way you can make a detailed calculation of answer. Or otherwise, you can do answer by method number 2. Method number 2 is like this. Amount payable as per original forward contract. Dear students, as per the original forward contract, the amount payable is 46.67 rupees per dollar. So, it is 46.67 multiplied with 7000. That comes to 3,26,690. Okay. Now, importantly, we understand that see, we already have calculated the swap gain or loss. Wherein both the things have been taken into account. One, profit or loss due to cancellation. And second, profit or loss due to change in the exchange rate. Second thing, that is one more thing, that is the interest on the gain has also been calculated. So we already have computed the swap gain or loss considering the interest effect. So this is the payment. And further, so this is the amount of the net swap loss. So what you have to do, just add net swap loss 1568.7 yes so here this is the additional payment 1568.7 so 3,28,258.7 this is the amount payable by the company. Please write an answer by both the methods or by a single method as you wish. Over here friends one more thing to be added is the flat charges of 100 rupees. That is required to be paid. So here it is 358. Please write down answer. Method number two in that also I'm add swap that is flat charges of that hundred rupees. Please write down this answer as well. So friends, this is the way you are required to write answer from examination point of view. Yet there is one more point to which I want to give a clarification to you friends. See basically we understand that say the 19th of January was the date on which as a customer the transaction was entered upon for seller rupees and purchase dollar. The rate applicable 46.67 rupees per dollar. On 19th of February, there are two transactions which are entered upon. One is spot transaction, sell of rupees and purchase of dollar. And for that, so the exchange rate is 46.58. And on 20th of March, there is a reverse transaction which is entered upon and because of which there is a profit or loss. Now one more clarification that I want to give you that is only for your understanding purpose. It is nowhere forming part of the answer. Now basically what happens at say on 19th of February when you request the bank that I want to enter into the swap transaction in spot I want to purchase dollar 
and one month forward I will sell dollar. Then what bank will tell you? Bank will tell you like this that right now you make the payment at 46.67 to me. We will see that say whatever the difference we will adjust later on. So right now on 19th of February bank account of the company is debited with 46.67. So what happens at 46.67 into 7000 this is the amount which is actually debited to the account. Now you go to the bank after a month that is on this date. At that point of time the bank will tell you something like this that due to cancellation of your forward contract you have been able to due to cancellation of the forward contract you have incurred a loss of 31.50 pes. However, we had collected 9 pes more from you. Because on 19th of February, using the spot exchange rate, this is the rate at which you should have purchased dollar. However, we debited your account with this rate. So we collected 9 pes more from you at that point of time. So net amount you have to pay 22.5 paise to us. So we are paying 0.225 into 7000 that is 1575 to the bank. Further bank says that actually we had debited your account by more amount that is instead of debiting your account with 46.58 we debited with 46.67 so on that 9 paise we will give interest to you because whenever we have to give interest we give interest at a lower rate and whenever we have to charge interest we charge at a higher rate so we are going to give you the interest of 6 rupees 30 paise in short on 20th of march difference of this that is 1575 minus 6.3 that is 1568.7 is required to be paid additionally by me to the bank. So this is what I pay to the bank and of course there is 100 rupees is the flat charges. This may not be there in all the cases. Effectively, so this is what the amount which I pay for purchasing of $7,000 this is what we understand write down a note for the answer first point write down swap gain or loss can be calculated as a difference between two exchange rates enter for new contract and to cancel the original one. Full stop. Second point. On gain of 19th of February, the company is getting interest because the company 
had paid forty six point six seven to buy a dollar instead of forty six point fifty eight rupees. Third. on net gain interest income will be at lower rate and on net loss interest payment will be at a higher rate full stop